Is now the natural gas industry has caused controversy in our area for a number of years, but with recent plans for pipeline expansions and increased initiatives by those opposing them, the debate could soon reach new heights. 18 News reporter Samantha Lance takes us to the town of Windsor, New York, where they are experiencing their own natural gas growing pains and shows us why many more communities in our area could soon be facing similar struggles. We don't support anything that's going to disrupt our lifestyles. You ever heard the terminology, not in my backyard? There you go. The town of Windsor has multiple natural gas pipelines that run through it. And with pipelines come compressor stations every 40 to 100 miles. Will there be a point where the people that are complaining are happy? Approximately 50 residents who live near this compressor station have formed an organization they call Crow, concerned residents of Windsor, to address a number of issues they have identified with natural gas expansion in their town. That was done in uh, reaction to uh, problems we were having, including an explosion. The report uh, described it as a fire. You will talk to people who will use the word explosion but it was not an explosion. Windsor Town Supervisor Carolyn Price says during a venting of gas at the compressor station during the summer of 2012, a bolt of lightning struck, sending a giant fireball into the air and striking fear in nearby homeowners. I believe people really erred on the sign of, side of caution evacuating. Aside from safety, there are also worries about potential health-related impacts. We have a number of, of people including some children that are being exposed to toxic emissions that we don't even know what they are. But the number one complaint about the compressor station in Windsor? It's sort of that, uh, uh, uh. Noise. It's probably not good for your hearing either. And several of the residents in the area have developed a ringing in their ear. And we believe that that could also be uh, uh, the source of, of that problem. It's in the distance. It's not like it's close to you. You listen and you say, hmm, that must be the compressor station. But it's not loud. Windsor residents who live near the compression station just past the tree line behind me have mixed feelings about it. A noise problem. I don't think we have one. Floyd Bronson's property borders that of the compressor station. He says noise is not an issue and that Williams, the company that owns the station, has been a good neighbor. They've helped the town out a lot. They've worked with people in the area to try to make them happy. The natural gas industry has provided jobs to the people of Windsor and pays about 16 percent of the town's taxes. Still, those who oppose the project say efforts should be focused elsewhere. We could be giving those same jobs out building solar energy or building some other sort of renewable energy. As plans for new pipelines are currently in progress throughout our area, Penny Hand worries many more communities will soon face the same struggles Windsor has. We're kind of the guinea pigs in this thing, and we would like to see that uh, evaluated so that other communities uh, don't have to go through what we've gone through. Walter Hang of Toxic Targeting claims to have mapped more than 700,000 toxic sites throughout the state of New York. He is advocating the stoppage of pipeline expansions until it is proven the projects will not cause harm to communities or the environment. Major pipelines have already been proposed uh, throughout central New York, inclu including very close to Elmira uh, and Binghamton. Henny Hand says before any more pipelines are put in, state officials need to thoroughly assess and eliminate any potential hazards. If some of the things can be improved, or some of the hazards eliminated, we should do that before we expand, not waiting until we've got a spider web of pipes under upstate New York and somebody says, oh, by the way, uh, this isn't good for the health of these people. A number of pipeline expansions are being planned for in the area, but are currently awaiting water quality recertification before work can begin.